Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you 6 video editing tips in Filmora 10 that every beginner should know. Alright, so these are the tips that I normally use for my, all of my projects, so hopefully uh, it is helpful for you. Especially for those of you who have just downloaded and installed the program on your computer. Alright, let's go. Alright, so the very first tip I want to show you is how to change the project setting right inside the software. And uh, as you know, when editing video, it is very important to have the correct project setting uh, from the beginning uh, to save your time. Because sometimes when uh, when you import your media into the uh, into the software and it has different aspect ratio and different resolution and frame rate and stuff like that. And we start editing video and then uh, finally you, you want to export it to the final result and it is not what you need, okay? Uh, for example, here uh, I am inside Filmora 10, uh, so we have just created a new project uh, with all the video inside here. By the way, before editing video, we want to check the project setting and we want to change it to what we need, okay? Uh, and it is very simple. Uh, firstly, you have the, uh, the, the option here to change the, your project setting. All you need to do is to click this button, review quality and display setting. And then you click the, the line uh, change project aspect ratio. Okay, so you have a new windows uh, with the aspect ratio and resolution and frame rate or stuff like that. Uh, here, for example, if you want to make a YouTube video, maybe you want to go with 16 uh, by nine and some other stuff here for Instagram or portrait or Facebook or cinema video also. So you want to select the aspect ratio first uh, at 16 by 9. Now you can select the resolution. For me, I always uh, export my video to uh, Full HD, uh, but you can select 4K video also, or you can select a custom resolution for your project also. So we are going to select the, uh, Full HD and also the frame rate. I want to change it to 24 frames per second because that is normally uh, when I export my video to YouTube, uh, so we can select here, 24 frames per second. By the way, you can select 30 frames or 60 frames, it's up to you. Okay, then we can click OK. So that is the first way to change your project setting in Filmora 10. And there is another way, you can go to the File menu here and then uh, select the project setting. It will have the same window where you can change the aspect ratio and resolution and frame rate also. Okay, so that, that is the first tip. And the second tips I want to, to give you is how to enable the backup and where to find the backup location in this software. Uh, you know that it is very important to, to know this feature because when editing video on your computer, sometimes it just crash and shut down unexpectedly and you may lose your work if the, the backup option is not enabled, okay? So in Filmora 10, uh, it is very easy to find the backup option. Firstly, go to File and then uh, go to the Preferences. Now at the Preferences, you have some tab here, but uh, what you need to care about is the Save tab here. So click on Save and make sure that the Save option here. Enable the backup your project every one minute. So you have the option here. Always check this box and then change the minute to one. Yeah, because maybe five minutes is uh, too long for, for you. You may do so many things. So one minute is the minimum uh, minimum duration for your backup. And I think it is, yeah, you should do, okay? And here you have the option to, uh, to find the location where you save your, where the, the program save your project. So you have here uh, this folder. You can click here to change the folder. If you want to, save it to different location you can select any different location on your computer and create a new folder called backup and then you select that folder okay all right so that is about the backup option in Filmora 10 and hopefully you don't forget to enable the backup when editing video otherwise it will be a nightmare all right so, and the next tip i want to show you is how to share the project uh, with others or maybe uh, you are working uh, working on a project at your office and you want to edit at home. Uh, then you, maybe you want to uh, pack all that project, all the media inside that project, and uh, 
uh, copy to a USB or share to a Google Drive or OneDrive or stuff like that and then you want to start editing at home uh, then you can do like this so this is our Wondershare Filmora 10 project and you can go to file and now instead of save project as you can click this button archive project uh, so you have a shortcut for that Control shift a uh, to, so you can click here archive project and then you name a project project number one for example and uh, select the location you want to save uh, maybe I want to save it to my desktop and then I'm going to click save and now Filmora 10 we pack everything uh, in the media folder and in one file so they, they will uh, save everything uh, in the media folder including your video audio and uh, all other stuff here uh, to make one uh, one project file and then you can copy this project file uh, to uh, an USB or upload to Google Drive and stuff like that for example here uh, we have the project file and let's see the detail inside select the property and you can see it is uh, 197 megabytes so now that is included the media inside so now you can just copy this one uh, copy and put it in your external hard drive or google drive or stuff like that and share then you can work at home okay all right and the next tip i want to show you is how to create a title and save it as custom so you can use for multiple projects in Filmora 10 for example here i am on the timeline and uh, firstly we need to create a title let's, let's go to the title tab here and then uh, find a title maybe something that you want to to use for multiple project for example this one so i'm going to select this one to download it first and then drag and drop it onto the timeline and the next thing you want to customize all the text and the animation inside the title to do that you can double click at the title box here and change it to yeah my jkn vlog my channel name for example here yeah i love you you oh stuff like that so i just created a sample channel uh, channel name supposing that uh, i'm happy with this one uh, but actually you can change the text and fonts and size and also have some other other format for the text uh, text here and now if you're happy with this one you can click this button to save as custom uh, this is the first option so you click on that and you then you can save it title number one for example then you're going to click ok that's uh, how to save a custom title for your next project and being mentioned that you can do the same here uh, at the advanced tab here if you go to the advanced tab you ha also have a custom uh, option here okay so do the same then i'm going to click ok for example in your ne next project you want to use the same text here uh, like this all you need to do is to go to the title tab again and then find the custom title here and then you just need to drag and drop it onto a timeline and you have another title it's the same the same with the previous one very nice right so that is the tip on how to create a custom title for your next project and the next thing i want to show you is how to copy and paste the effect in filmora 10 for example if you have multiple clips on the timeline and you want to to do the color correction for one clip and then you want to to have the color correction uh, for all the clip on the timeline uh, you can do like this for example this timeline or uh, i only have three clips uh, by the way we are going to use two clips as an example uh, this one uh, so this is the Go, uh, gopro footage and i want to do some color correction so firstly i'm going to double click uh, at the clip and then go to the color here and now I'm going to uh, increase the contrast a little bit uh, uh, stuff like that and also the saturation and brightness of the video and now if I want to apply the same color correction to other clips on the timeline I can do like this uh, right click at the clips on the timeline and then go to the effect tab here and now we can select copy effect 
and we can go to the next clip maybe one clip or two clips or stuff like that for example if i have two clips and then all i need to do is to highlight highlight them and then right click and go to the effect here and then i can paste the effect nice right so we have the same color correction for this clip on the timeline and this is the same color correction with this one that is how to copy and paste the effect in Filmora 10 all right so the last tips i want to show you is how to add audio keyframe in Filmora 10 so you know that with this software we can adjust the, the volume level and also create fade in fade out for our music and we have an audio normalization also but maybe some of you don't know about the audio keyframe because it is just a small tiny diamond button uh, in the audio editor okay so let me show you how to add audio keyframe in Filmora 10 uh, supposing that I have a, uh, a timeline here uh, with some clip here and I have a background music and at a certain part on the timeline I want to reduce the volume of the music I can add audio keyframe to do that I can double click at the music file and uh, find the audio here so you see all the button here it is very easy to see by the way this is the, the audio keyframe so add volume keyframe uh, to your music and it is very difficult to see and maybe as a beginner you don't know about this button to add a keyframe you can click this button to add a keyframe on on your music file and then uh, maybe you want to add another keyframe if you want to control the uh, the music volume up a certain part on the timeline so we can click here to add another keyframe and maybe we need to add more keyframe at this position and this position now you can adjust this area for example you can use this keyframe to lower the volume of the music and this one like this okay so let's play it very nice right and actually you can add now as as many keyframe uh, in your music file as you want in Filmora 10 all right so that is about six video editing tips in Wondershare Filmora 10 that every beginner should know uh, maybe if you want to to learn more tips and tricks in Filmora 10 then let me know in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye